Hello everyone. Today we are going to build this on floor reflection effect using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. I am already in my next app. Let me first run the local server. Yes, it's working fine. Now go to paint.js. Let us first clean all these default things. Also go to globals.css. Clean all these stylings. Give margin of zero, padding of zero. box sizing of border box and give it a text color of white also inside the body give over scroll behavior to none and give it a background color of black also for body before give content to be a empty string give it a position of fixed top of 0 and left of 0 then give it a width of 100% and height to be Team view height plus one pixels. Also, give pointer events to none, and Z index to be two thousand. And background image is going to have a linear gradient. So give it a linear gradient of zero degree, comma R G B of. Zero 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 slash sixty eight percent. Comma R G B of fifteen ten twenty three slash. Give it a sixty two percent. At last, new box shadow to be zero, negative twenty-five pixels, forty-five pixels, and give a RGB of zero comma zero comma zero comma point one five percent. So this is it. After this, we are going to create a component. So inside the root folder, create a folder called components. Inside, it, create a file called reflection for JS like this. Now we import this component inside this paint or JS. So import. Now we will start working inside this component. We will start with HTML and CSS. So inside this div, we are going to have two main divs. So this div is going to contain our main content. And inside the second div. Give another div, and this is going to have our reflective content. Now, for the first div, give a class name of grid, grid columns, and 
repeat of 2 comma 500 pixels and gap x of 15 view width gap y of 10 view height padding top of 0 padding x of 4 padding bottom of 60 view height give a width of full margin top of 15 view height margin x of auto margin bottom of 0 and finally give justify center and item center now for second do give a class name of wrap app is going to be our custom css class give it a fixed to overflow hidden give it a background of 080808 with top full top of 0 it's going to have a box shadow of Negative 25 pixels, 45 pixels, and RGB of 0, 0, 0, 0.15. But it's also going to have height of 15 view height, KY of negative 1. Inside the second div, give a class name of content reflection. This is also going to be our custom CFS class. Grid, grid columns, repeat. Two comma five hundred pixels. Give a gap x of 15 view width and gap y of 10 view height, padding top of 0, padding x of 4, padding bottom of 60 view height, width of full. Margin top of 15 view height. Give a margin x of auto. Margin bottom of 0. And justify center and item center. We are done styling the two wrapper tips around our main content and reflective content. Now we'll start building the main content. So main content, give a div. So inside this div, we're going to have two divs. For this div, give a class name of max width to be 300 pixels. Justify self center. Margin of 0, it's going to have aspect ratio of 0.75 and give it a width of full. Say this way, I'm going to name a series. So, let me name dot. And this div is going to have a class name of relative. 
flex top of 60 pixels text of 2 xl z index of 20 and give it a text white and the second it's going to have a class name of overflow be done grid place items center width of full and height of full inside this we are going to have our image view Create another day and give a class name of width of full, height of full, give it a background 50% underscore 50%, BG cover. background is going to have a URL of slash so I already have my images inside this public folder now let us check yeah now we can see we got the image so from here it's going to be very easy. Take this div, the div inside this main content, copy it and paste it seven times below it. Two, three, four, five. Now we will check. Yeah. As you can see, we got all these images and text. Now we'll change these. Changed all the images and names. Now we shall check. Yeah, we got all the images and text. Now go back. Now we have to fill this reflective content. The thing is, take all these stuffs inside this main content. So inside this main content, take all, take out all this, copy it. it in here so this is going to be its mirror image now we'll give styling to this content reflection to we'll go to globals or CSS so for the content reflection give position to be absolute top of zero give margin of zero auto and it's, it's going to have box shadow of 0 pixels negative 25 pixels 45 pixels and RGBA of 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0.15 so now we are done with html css now we will start working on javascript but before that we have to install a dependency so open up a new terminal so npm install at studio right then 
So Lemnis is going to be helpful for our smooth scrolling functionality. So it's installed. Now import Lemnis from Studio of Lemnis. Also import use effect and mention use client over here. Inside this function, open up a use effect. Let's first define Linux. Let Linux. After this, we are going to get the DOM element, which is going to reflect our main content. So, const reflection equals document dot very selector of so this is the DOM so this is the tree which is going to reflect our main content so view content reflection after this we are going to define a function so define smooth scroll equals new learners of new lerp of point one give smooth field to prove so inside this function we are going to create another function called scroll function it gets a parameter of time inside this function mention the request, request animation frame of time and call the request animation function and pass in the scroll function and below this scroll function again called Again, call request animation function and pass in the function as a parameter. Inside this scroll function, we are going to update the translate y property of the reflective content. So, based on the scroll animation, so give reflection dot style transform equals. Translate y of negative learners dot actual scroll pixels. Now we shall call this smooth scroll function. Yes, this is it. Now we shall check. Yeah, as you can see, we got the reflection on the top. I hope you guys liked it. So thank you for watching and 